Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, time to work out those aches and pains, ease those old aching bodies. But of course, the Springboks are in action against France in Paris on Saturday. There's even more rugby to look forward to right here on home soil as the Old Boys Tens Festival makes its much anticipated return. And it really is anticipated. The boys love the school rivalries will once again be reignited at the Pirate Sports Club in Joburg with an awesome lineup of old school rugby and netball teams going head to head. It is awesome. We've got event organizer Nick Arra and Western Province rugby player Joshua Stunner. Yeah, to tell us a little bit, give us a sneak peek into what's going to be going down at Pirates. This is awesome, man. Maybe I can I can start with you, Nick. This, this is one of the, the highlights, I think, of any old boys calendar, but it's also from a viewer's to have spectator opportunity to see some incredible athletes on the field, even if we are getting a little bit older. Yeah? I, think, I think a lot of them are <laughs> feeling uh, their age a little bit, but yes, it is our fifth year. I, I cannot actually Pretty believe it. Fifth well year done, of uh, uh, Soy Age Old Boys 10s, and uh, Marcel Moherber and uh, the Queen's Old Boys that starts in the beginning had no idea how it would grow. You know, we're up to over 20 rugby teams now, uh, 10 uh, uh, netball teams. And of course, there's going to be a whole lot of uh, um, yes. And, and remember, we bring, this, we bring this together specifically to get the old boys together so they can give back to uh, their education. We, we, we give a lot, all of it back into the education. Yeah, and you've set yourself quite a big target. I'm going to chat to you about that in a moment. But um, Joshua, I have to say, when I stepped in, as, as one of the, the useless amateurs that, that gets roped into playing 10 tournaments, when I, I saw you this morning, I just, my heart sank for all the other old boys <laughs> out there. But, but you obviously contractually can't play. You can't yeah, put the yeah. body at, at risk because it really is hard hitting stuff. What is it about? These old boy rivals, Reese, do you think that makes the rugby so intense in the field? Because Oaks don't hold back. Yeah, no, look, obviously at school, rivalry is everything. So I think the boys go at, go at each other harder than what they did at school. <laughs> obviously, they want to show how tough they are. Their bodies aren't quite the same anymore. So I think it's an awesome opportunity. He's an old Queens boy. I'm an old Dale boy, so... You can yeah, move a little bit further yeah, apart yeah, if you want. <laughs> no, I think it's, it's nice to just reconnect with old schoolmates, play against each other again, have a couple of beers, have a duel, and obviously raise funds for the less fortunate kids. So I think it's a great initiative. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a perfect package, and I think you guys must take on board because you're one of the originals um, that kind of put this, this festival concept out there, and it's obviously mushroomed across the country. But we can't forget the Education Empowerment Fund is a massive receiver. You've set... Uh, a target of donating 360,000 Rand. How are we looking in terms of achieving that target and, and talk us through that process? So um, what we try and do is try and ask the old boys guys to say, okay, um, you know, you have to obviously enter some money into for your kits and everything like that, but we ask them to, to put in a little bit more. And these guys go way above it. I mean, the guys are probably putting in double of what they should wow. actually be doing just to start. And then of course, all the other uh, profits that are made out of the tournament, Remember, everything goes back into the, the Education Endowment Fund. Not a cent goes to anybody else. So why, even, why set it up like that? Because um, it, it was, all, all boys are, all boys' um, uh, 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 societies are set up so that they can give back to their schools. And there are a lot of schools that need these help. I mean, yeah. the Hilton guys are raising uh, uh, money uh, to buy cattle to have more cattle so that they could sell the cattle and, and uh, and actually sent uh, kids to Hilton. Um, the Middleburg Tech guys and the Middleburg Old Boys Already have been champs, the champs <laughs> four times years in a row. Yeah. They've given the trophy. <laughs> they, they've been uh, looking after Middle Stars Primary School, and these kids are just, they, they, these guys are their idols. You know? So it is, awesome, it is something awesome that, stuff, eh? that, that we love and, and we want to give back, and everybody does want to. Joshua, I'm, I'm just very quickly, I've, I've got to ask you, I'm, I want to talk to you about Curry Cup. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Um, <laughs> and now I have to talk to you about Springboks. Any predictions for how it's going to go against France? Well, hopefully they'll pull this one through. I think they were very unlucky last weekend. Um, but I think if they carry on playing the way they do, they should pull it through this weekend. Rusty's been giving some new coaching techniques. Yeah, I know. I was saying we're no, lucky a meme didn't pop up the there, man. tackle technique <laughs> going on, on the news. So, yeah. um, that's dominated social media. But, gentlemen, thank you so much for giving us the Absolutely. time. All the best of luck with your, your continued career, man. And th thank you very much for always... Uh, you've had us for three years in a row. And um, really, uh, th we this coming there. weekend... We, we all gratitude to you and, and everybody else that helps us. And the old boys love it, man. Yeah, we do. Bless we do. you, child. Bless yeah. you for giving us this opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, you can get all of the action. Old Boys 10 Festival happening at Pirate Sports Club, 9th, 10th of November. 30 Rand to 80 Rand will get you in and you'll see some amazing rugby. Go and support.